Good morning from beautiful Lake Toyoko. Right now it's 5 a.m. and uh, I just woke up to this beautiful view of that volcano in the background. Um, and this surreal lake covered in fog this morning with nobody else here. It's like five degrees Celsius or was that like 40, 40 degrees Fahrenheit? But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to show you what it's like in a normal day of my life living in a van in Japan. For the past three weeks, I've driven from Hiroshima all the way up here to Hokkaido. And uh, it's been quite a journey. It's about to end soon. So follow along as you see the final days of me sleeping in a van <laughs> and basically not paying for accommodation costs. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the van now, clean up a little bit and head to Niseko. Niseko is closer to that volcano back there. So I'm gonna scout out some spots for sunset and hopefully we can get some good shots. And yeah, I'll show you what it's like. So follow along. Hi right, guys, welcome to my van. It's not really a van, it's more of like a tiny little car. It's a K car actually. This is where you're going from. And here we go, here's the inside. So I got two sleeping bags here, one, two. When it's cold, got myself a little pillow, got myself a laundry bag, my clothes, my laptop, and when my feet are there, that goes flat, and usually there's a curtain there and a curtain there. So let me show you the back. There she is, back of the car. See, I don't really know anyone that sleeps with their head on this side because that's bull crap, there's like no space here. It's a lot more comfortable to sleep with your head on that side. And there's actually quite a few other people here sleeping as well. That's just because it's Golden Week, because uh, Golden Week is this holiday in Japan where everyone gets 10 days off. So all the hotels are basically fully booked. I tried to book one actually, because I wanted one day out of the car, but it was like $900 or something for the most basic place. So yeah, uh, it's pretty socially acceptable right now to be sleeping in your car in Japan. Let's go see if I can interview some of them. <laughs> uh, my name is Asan Mahiroki. Asan Mahirogi. <laughs> so, okay, you're sleeping in this car. Okay. <laughs> but okay, thank you. It's nice, you sleep in here, yeah? Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. <laughs> There's a family in there. There's some kid wiping the windows right now. <laughs> Mom's still asleep. <laughs> uh, nobody's in this car, but there's a family in this car, and, and there's a family in this car, and there's a family in that car. And realistically, you can tell because you know this one has the windows like shaded. This one has all this condensation on the inside of the car. Yeah, and there's like a full-on camper over there too. So <laughs> there's quite a lot of people. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up my car a little bit, get some gas, and off I go to Niseko, which is about an hour and a half away. Find a cafe to work, I do work online, get some internet, and uh, scout out some shots for sunset. See you in maybe a couple of hours. All right, one thing I forgot to show you that I do want to show you is my morning routine and how I get ready in the morning. So right now we're here at my favorite store in Japan, 7-Eleven. <laughs> they sell all these like really great things like breakfast, food, uh, and they have a bathroom that's free, and they have free Wi-Fi. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in there, grab some breakfast, and brush my teeth. Oh, by the way, there's definitely been times when I've slept in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven free Wi-Fi. I've never been kicked out before. Then again, I've never stayed at the same 7 two days in a row. Not usually, but sometimes they have seating areas where you can basically sit down and just eat. Um, this one doesn't because we're kind of in a busy tourist area. I'm just gonna sit outside, eat, and then go and brush my teeth right after. I have no idea what I bought. This is delicious. Um, I thought it was chicken, but it's actually fried squid. And there's some scrambled eggs, uh, some rice, pickles. It's really good. <laughs> Can't read anything, just buy whatever looks good. All right, done breakfast. Gonna pick up my trash. Go ahead. Toss it in the correct garbage bin. Boop. Let's go brush my teeth. Yeah, so there's a sink. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth here. And if I need to pee, there's the actual toilet back there. So yeah. Oh. 
up, made it to Niseko, Niseko, Hokkaido. Um, yeah, so I already scattered out some, spot, uh, some spots on the way here. Uh, it's a pretty beautiful drive, washed the car and also, you know, took some pictures already. But I'm gonna have to go back to some of these spots when it gets darker because right now the light is a little bit too harsh and it doesn't look good. But yeah, right now uh, I found a cafe, um, so I'm gonna go see if the cafe has Wi-Fi and if they do, I'm probably gonna sit there, I gotta work because I actually have a full-time job. And basically when the light gets a little bit better, then we'll go back out and take some pictures. It's called White Birch. So I'm gonna head over to White Birch Cafe and see what it's like, hopefully get some Wi-Fi and just like squat there all day. If I could turn back time, I would never let you go. All right, so now I'm at a different cafe because the last one basically kicked me out. Um, they're saying I can't plug in my laptop into the outlet. So I came to a way better one where they have local cheesecake and milk products. And Hokkaido is known for that, so I'm gonna chat down on some delicious cheese and fat and uh, probably get some work done here. Again, at around 3 or 4 p.m., uh, it's time to head out. And then that's when I'm gonna go and scout out some locations and prepare for sunset, which is at around 6.30. All right, what's up? It is close to sunset right now, golden hour, and I came out a little bit earlier to uh, scout out some locations to take some pictures. Earlier I was uh, scouting as well, but I just forgot to film, so here's a camera, here's me, here is my day. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we're about a little bit one week early for these cherry blossoms, but I found this pretty sweet spot. Uh, if you want to you take a look, there's like a nice shot of Mount Yote, the mountain behind me. So they're not fully ready yet, but basically when these bloom and those bloom and all those bloom, this should look really, really nice. We're a little bit early, so there's really, there's no shots that I can take of uh, Mount Yote with cherry blossoms because nothing has bloomed properly yet. Uh, later tonight, I need to find a place to shower, wash myself before I go to sleep. Um, I have an idea of where I'm going to sleep tonight. It's a place called the Michi no Eki, which literally means roadside station or road station. Um, but the Michi no Eki uh, has Wi-Fi, so it's free Wi-Fi, it's free parking, toilets, running water, everything. It's a great place to sleep. It just doesn't have a shower. Some of them do have showers, some of them have onsens. Uh, this one doesn't have a shower or an onsen. So I'm going to go find another shower or an onsen and take a bath soak around in the hot springs and then go to sleep but first let's go do my sunset mission all right here we are at sunset spot number one uh gotta walk over there real quick but um basically we got two sunset spots to hit today this one is on the other side of a river you can see i don't know if you can see with this lens but i'm gonna switch lenses soon uh but there's cherry blossoms in front of a magnificent mount yote now i actually think it might end up looking better um, in the morning because the sun will be behind the cherry blossoms and they'll light up like a bunch of little lanterns. But uh, we're here for sunset. Let's get some shots and then off to the next one. Wow, sunset is done. That's it. Came to this farmer's field. Mount Yote lit up nice and red, so we got some good shots. Um, yeah, my day is basically done. I just got to find a place to shower and then go to sleep. And then uh, maybe do some more work in the car when I go to my sleeping place. Yeah, but actually onsens are everywhere across the country. But Niseko is especially known for their onsen, so I'm pretty excited to uh, to soak myself in an onsen in a hot spring for you know an hour or so before I go to sleep. I sleep really well. So I somehow ended up at this place that's like a five-star hotel, um, just because it's Niseko. But when I was searching for hot springs and looking up the reviews, apparently this place lets the public go in and take a bath. <laughs> So uh, let's see how this goes. I don't know if they'll actually let me in. Oh, okay. Thank you. So it worked. <laughs> it's only uh, eleven dollars, and I got like this five-star spa treatment. This is gonna be sick. But obviously, I can't film when I'm in the spa. There's a bunch of naked dudes. So uh, I'm probably gonna cut it off here, and I'll see you after my hot spring soak. Oh man, that was so good. They had a. Uh, Three hot tubs, all with sulfur water, one with cold water. Feeling really relaxed now, ready to pass out. Oh, by the way, not wearing any underwear. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna head to the car, uh, put on some underwear, and go to sleep. All right, so I don't know how well you can see, but uh, we just got here to the Michi no Eki, 
and already there's a bunch of cars here that are you know, basically going to be sleeping here. Um, so I decided to park really close to the building because if you look at that, we have Wi-Fi in the car tonight. There's lots of Wi-Fi. So generally this Wi-Fi is pretty reliable. Uh, that's why I'm parking right by the building. So it should be fun. Uh, I'll have some internet. I'll have electricity. Um, yeah, I'm going to go brush my teeth and then go to sleep. So thanks so much for joining me today on my one day of what it's like to be in a van <laughs> in Japan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and hope it inspires you to make your next vacation adventurous. Thanks. See ya. So just as a follow-up to last night, I just woke up. Yeah, this is the inside of my car. I can kind of see people out of that curtain, but people can't see in because it's dark inside. Uh, my windows are open in the front. Windows are closed in the back. I like way overslept because I was gonna get up for sunrise, but oh, I was so tired in that bath yesterday. Oh, it was so good. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna get up in a sec and I'll show you what the Michi no Eki looks like. During the day, it becomes like a tourist area, so all these sellers come here and they start selling snacks and food. It becomes like a street market. These like local delicacies that are sold here, souvenirs, uh, food, vegetables, fresh produce. So probably gonna get some local food for breakfast. Brush my teeth at the bathroom here. Also, one other thing I wanted to mention before I go outside is this is basically a capsule hotel, but bigger. Like if you ever stay in a capsule hotel in Japan, it's a little bit smaller than this and not as tall. So I can actually sit up fully in this car, in my bed, but you can't do that in a capsule hotel. So it's actually not as bad as everyone makes it think, makes it seem. Like my initial idea for staying in the car was because I stayed at a capsule hotel and I had to pay for parking. So I ended up paying like three times the amount if I didn't have a car. So I was like, why the hell am I doing this? I'll just stay in the car. Oh, and also you can put two people in this car instead of only having one in a capsule hotel if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna leave the house, the house, and go walk around. So follow me. Open the door. This is the Michi no Eki. It's a huge parking lot that's open uh, 24 hours. And the bathrooms are over there. So yeah, I just ordered this uh, Niseko dog thing. Apparently it's a local, local hot dog. Uh, yeah, this is my breakfast. So I'm gonna eat this, go eat an ice cream, because Hokkaido is known for ice cream and eat a cheesecake. <laughs> I'm gonna be fat today. But yeah, I'm gonna sign off, end this video now. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the last 36 hours with me.